<laughs> well, you couldn't possibly change the world in just one minute, could you? Well, these high schoolers are giving it a pretty good crack. You've reached zero, zero, zero. What's your emergency? Hi, um, yes, could I please order a large Hawaiian pizza for delivery? Ma'am, you are speaking to emergency services. Yes, I'm aware. Could you deliver it to 123 Holdsworth Avenue? Ma'am, is there an emergency or not? Yes, there is. Why is it taking so long? It's a powerful video with an important message and it was created by two girls in year 10. We were really inspired by this true story of this woman who called emergency services with a fake pizza order and in fact her drunk boyfriend was in the room with her. We thought it was really brave. We want the public to be able to look between the lines and see when someone needs help or someone is struggling from domestic violence. Friends Isabel and Sophie created this clip for Videos for Change. It's a national competition run by High Resolves. The program that teaches high school students how to become leaders. We started High Resolves about 12 years ago and even then, like today, every day we're confronted with news and stories of hatred and racism and intolerance and we really wanted to make a difference to that. More than 100 videos have come in from all over Australia broaching confronting subjects like dementia, cyberbullying, you know, it's funny how it's just one click. I totally screwed my life up. Body image. You're so, so fat, fat. And mental health. Creating a one minute video is a really hard thing and to make someone care about something in one minute is even harder. One of the things I think we underestimate is in this generation, they want to have a voice, they want to be able to make a statement, they want to be able to understand the world about them and making a video is the sort of thing that they are comfortable with and this is a really fantastic avenue for that sort of expression. These are real issues that they as filmmakers, you know, as high school students, they're able to to make a change. The girls hope their one minute video will encourage people to speak out when they suspect friends or family are being abused. It's scary really how it could easily affect any of us because it's a problem that we don't really like to talk that much in society because we feel as though it's too negative. We believe that's important that we're able to spread the word on this. <laughs> Sophie and Isabel are the runners up in this year's videos for change. The Coomera Anglican College takes out the top spot with this compelling take on the issue of social exclusion.